This is Chrissy Idaho Painter here on Paint Life TV. Today, this is a video on social media marketing, and this is part of my cabinet series. So I'm gonna be talking about how I use social media marketing to get cabinet jobs. So if you need to get some jobs, if you wanna know how I go about marketing, cabinets specifically and getting cabinet painting jobs and this does pertain to you know your painting business as a whole stay tuned for this video all right this is lesson number one and this is on social media marketing and i'm going to give you some do's and don'ts of social media marketing and maybe some reasons why you should be doing social media marketing and and uh what are some of the avenues that you can utilize in social media marketing so we're, we're going to talk a little bit about that and social media marketing is definitely something you should be doing i think it's a um, must do when it comes to uh, owning and running your own business business. All right, so I'm going to talk about some of the uh, social media platforms that are available out there, you know, for you to market uh, yourself and your company. And, and these are, these are all free platforms, so you can utilize them. It's not going to cost you anything to create these accounts and, um, and help establish your brand. All right, some of the platforms that you can utilize when it comes to social media marketing is Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Pinterest, um, TikTok. I mean, I'm on all those. I'm utilizing all those and it's interesting because you know social media there's certain things on platforms that just come and go and some that are popular and some that are not popular and you know over the years I've tried to just like utilize all of them to help establish my brand and to get jobs and some of them will get you more jobs some of them will get you less jobs some of them are basically just places to you know give information about your company out for people that are searching you know to find bids um, or looking for a painter so there there you know there's reasons why you should do some and reasons why maybe you shouldn't do others i think probably facebook is the one more geared towards businesses and probably the most important one that you should establish um, and get your business on to help you know, build your brand, establish credibility, establish um, customer confidence, and then just a place where you can house your company, inf company information where people can find you and also contact information. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the do's and don'ts now of all those platforms. All right, so the first thing I, I gotta say when it comes to these platforms is be professional. So you, you don't want to be non-professional. So anytime um, you're posting content, always keep it professional. You want your um, platform, when you build it, you want it to look professional too. So if that, um, if that means hiring somebody to do it because you don't have any experience, most of these platforms are very straightforward forward they're very intuitive they're very easy to use and um, not difficult and if you don't know how to you know create um, photographs you don't know how to create headers and stuff like that another place I've talked about it before um, you know in some of the other lessons is Fiverr Fiverr is a place I had um, my Facebook headers created in Fiverr it, um, by some people on Fiverr at one point in time they're not done by Fiverr now but it's a great start if you're not creative and a very good artist but I'll Always, you know, keep the content and make your page or platform look professional. All right, another do is uh, you do want to post regularly, and this is going to take a little bit of time, but there are ways and services uh, that you can uh, post a lot of content at, at one point in time uh, and schedule it to be posted on a regular basis. One of them that I use is Hootsuite. So I take and create a lot of posts, and then I schedule them to be posted on my platforms like Facebook and Instagram. So I'll sit down, you know, one evening, you know, maybe for an hour, two hours and create a bunch of posts. And then those posts will actually be scheduled on later dates and times. So something you might want to look into is Hootsuite. But you do want to post regularly, put content on there, whether it be, it doesn't have to be every day, but you know, maybe once a week, twice a week, and um, you know, a few times a month, you definitely want to put content on your page. Another do is if you're comfortable with it, is show um, pictures and photographs of family and what you're doing. And, and the reason why I say that is when people go to your, um, your platforms, your social media platforms, 
systems to learn a little bit about your, about your business. You know, it's also about developing relationships and connections and the customer's gonna see you and relate to you because maybe you're showing a kid of your, uh, a picture of your kid playing soccer. Like, oh my gosh, my kids play soccer too. So you're trying to, you know, develop that connection uh, with the customer and you and your company. So I, I would highly encourage you to post, you know, quality content, um, but family related content. Another do that I want to talk about is your profile pictures. So when it comes to um, almost all social media platforms, there's typically a round you know, avatar or icon, whatever you want to call it, and it's your profile picture. You want to have a good quality profile picture. Now, in what, what I do see people out there, they'll have their um, their platform that's utilized to um, promote their business and their profile picture will be a picture of their dog or some really odd, weird thing like that. You want it to be a picture, you know, I, I highly recommend a picture of the business owner. So I have a picture of my face. It could be your company logo, but I think the header itself, the header, that's where you would establish um, your brand and um, information about your company. You wanna have a good quality and a professional looking header that um, has your branded colors on it, has your company name or company logo, but your profile should be a good quality picture of you. And if that means getting out a good camera, I mean, now nowadays your phones take, you know, is almost as good of pictures as, you know, a $3,000 camera, but just take a good uh, photograph of your head, your face um, in really good lighting so you have a good quality profile picture. So I did touch on it a little bit too, the header itself you know, the header needs to be professional and needs to be high quality and it needs to actually fit appropriately on Facebook. So there's a lot of different dimensions when it comes to all these platforms, um, your headers that you create, there's specific dimensions that they have to be. You want to get it cut and done well and um, utilizing uh, services like um, people on Fiverr is one way where you can get it you know, done uh, done right to the right size dimensions and the right aspect ratio. So um, look at that. You may, you may know, already know what size it needs to be. When you install it or put it on there, you can crop it. But if you get it, if you make it in like Photoshop and make it the right size, it makes it a lot easier when you put it on um, the platform like Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, whatever one you're using. All right, one of the don'ts when it comes to uh, social media marketing and utilizing these platforms uh, for your business is don't get involved in politics and don't get involved in political rants because what you're going to end up doing is people that don't have the same political beliefs that you do, they're probably not going to call you, you know, uh, for a bid or an estimate if you touch a nerve. I just, um, I think there's other, if you have personal pages, that's where you can get involved in talking about politics and stuff like that. But when it comes to your, um, your, uh, your business pages and pages you're utilizing to, you know, market your company. I would highly, I would highly recommend staying away from politics. All right, another don't is don't use offensive or obscene language or obscene gestures. Now, I'm I'm absolutely shocked how many you know Instagram pages I've looked at, how many um, Facebook pages I've looked at where you know somebody is saying you know f this or they're giving the bird to you know it's, um, I don't know an, another organization or another person or another situation or they're they're just mad and upset about you know. Um, customers or clients and, and and them asking them for cheaper estimates or stuff like that. I mean, there's a lot of different reasons, but this is not a place where you want to get offensive or use vulgar language because you know this these are platforms that are people are coming to learn about you and your company and you always want to look and act professional. And if somebody sees that and that's offensive to them, they're probably not going to call you for an estimate. So do not get offensive, use vulgar language language or gestures on your platform. All right, so once again, you know, the reasons why you should actually utilize social media um, social media platforms to market your company, it's it's really it's a couple of simple reasons. It's free and it's easy to use. So 
it doesn't cost you anything. So it's a really good return on your investment if you get callbacks. Yes, it does take you time to build these platforms and time to add content and post regularly, but it is a great return on your investment. Now I've got I gotta say over the years, I've gotten quite a bit of work from, I, I know directly from uh, my Facebook pages. Um, I'm not sure directly related to Instagram or Twitter, but I utilize all those um, platforms just to help establish, you know, my brand and um, brand awareness, you know, in my communities. One of the things I've done with Facebook is utilize Facebook to create um, pages targeted to specific neighborhoods. There's some really high end neighborhoods um, in my community right here. One of them is Hidden Springs. So I created a Facebook page called Hidden Springs Painters just to target and market to that uh, neighborhood. Up in the mountains, there's a, a small town called McCall and I created a Facebook page called McCall Painters because what was really interesting is all the local painters up there don't have web pages. None of them have web pages. So if you do a search for painters in McCall, what comes up first in the Google search engine is my actual Facebook page for McCall. So Facebook can be a really good tool to target neighborhoods, target towns and communities, and it Facebook actually does show up in search engines on like Google. All right, so just to close this out, you know, I, I do highly recommend, you know, you get on social media. If you're not very social media savvy, uh, you don't have to be. You can actually hire agencies to build on these platforms for you, manage these platforms for you. You can even utilize um, places that are really inexpensive like um, Fiverr to build the content, um, the, the pictures, the background, and all that stuff. So you don't have to know how to do it and um, yourself, but it, I highly recommend you, uh, if you don't, to learn how and to get really familiar with social media because it just could help out your business. So there you have it, another uh, video of my cabinet painting series. If you wanna get notified every time I upload and put a new video, I think it got about 50 of the videos coming out and they're free for you. You gotta uh, hit the notification bell button or the subscribe button and the notify button. If you don't hit them both, you're not gonna get notified by email. So you wanna get that notification. That way you get notified every time I come out with a new video and upload it. It's simple, free, easy to do, just a couple clicks of a button. It's never costed you anything and it never will. Hit it, slam it, bang it, do whatever you gotta do. Check out our new cabinet painting videos coming your way right here on Fate Life TV.